Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler and I have this month's um, Quilters Candy Box here for to do an unboxing for you. So this is the August Quilters Candy Box and I think last month was a little bit um, late coming but this one got here right on time. It's only the 16th and I already have it in my possession. So um, let's take a peek and see what's inside this month's box. Okay, so let's see what's inside this month's Quilters Candy Box. Okay, so right off the bat, oh, actually, I knew that, um, yeah, that's cool, Mr. Domestic did this box. Okay, so right off the bat, this little goodie is in here, and it actually feels quite soft and squishy. I'm not going to take it out of the package. I'm assuming it'll tell us what's in here. Let me get out the card. Okay. All right, so August Quilters Candy Box is curated by Matthew Bo um, Bordreau. I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. I know him as Mr. Domestic. I followed him on Instagram for quite a while, and he also has a new YouTube channel, and he is kind of famous for his paper piecing, and um, so this should be kind of a fun box. He has some great tutorials on there. So, all right, so let's take a look. So we've already got our candy, and this is just a custom chocolate chip blondie bar, so that's kind of yummy. I'm gonna have to hide that for my kids, because that won't make it out of here. All right, and then inside is this EPP party, and it says with Pat Bravo and Mr. Domestic, and it's got a party pack sampler of box one and two exclusive, exclusive sampler paper piece pack for Quilter's Candy Box, and then to join the EPP party and for block instructions, you can go to his website, um, or uh, Pat Bravo Designs website as well. And so this looks like a goodie bag full of all these paper piecing. And they're like, if you haven't done English paper piecing before, usually starts out with some kind of a template. So these are, uh, they feel like cardstock. Um, and so I've got hexes, triangles, and so here's the hexes, and there's quite a few of them, guys. I don't know how many are in here. I'm sure it says on the package. Um, so we've got hexes, triangles, and squares, and they're kind of like a cardstock. And from what I understand, I haven't done a whole lot of paper uh, paper piecing, but these are reusable. Um, and so you essentially cut out a little, you know, random like you, these are great for scrap busters, but you basically fold them around, glue them on, and then kind of base them, and then um, make several, and then base them together or sew them together along the edges, and then you pull out these papers, and then I think you can reuse these. So there is that. So it's just a little sample of their paper piecing parties, and then in this good box. I don't know. I'm going to save that to last because that looks exciting. So we're going to set that aside. Okay. So then we've got the cutters. What is this? Thread cutters. Ah, interesting. So put ring on desired finger, adjust Velcro scrap for a firm, comfortable fit, and then trim off excess Velcro and make a loop with the finishing line and pull ring through loop to cut the line. The ring has dual blades and can cut from either side. Okay. Oh, and it's fancy with sparkles too. So yeah, so you just put that on your finger and then you can just run your thread right through. I'm not sure if you can see, Let's see if we can get it to focus for you, but see that gold piece in there? That's like a blade and so you can just cut your threads on it. So that's kind of fun. Okay, so the next thing in our box is this um, Dritz Quilting Fabric Glue Stick. And um, this is the stick that Matthew recommends for his EPP. Um, and so when I mentioned before that you kind of put the fabric around these and then glue them down, um, this actually is what he uses. And I have another one that's similar. It's a little bit thinner, um, which is also nice. But yeah, that's always good to have in your stash. Okay. Oh, this is cool. This is for uh, weaving, which I've never done, um, but I've always wanted to. So these are cool. These are called um, weft, wefty needles, and they make fabric wave, um, weaving super easy. Um, I'm just reading off the thing here. So it says you can guide your fabric strips in and out with ease, and if you're new to fabric weaving, you'll be so glad you get to learn with this nifty needle. And so um, let's see if there's kind of a picture on the back of here, but essentially you kind of put your fabric through these holes so you've got a couple different um, width options for your fabric and then you um, use the needle to kind of help weave it through um, your other piece and I've seen the YouTube videos um, on this and it looks like really fun um, kind of thing to try I've always wanted to try it I never have so I'm actually really excited to get these needles in here because I think this would be a really fun um, project and I've seen some people do some really super cool uh, 
uh, fabric and quilting kind of stuff with with the weaving of fabric so wefty um, needle which is really cool and then to go along with that is this optical illusions weave from mr. domestic um, as well and look how cool that is so that's woven um, a woven fabric pattern and let's go ahead and take it out and just look inside here so it's not so shiny there we go all right and so yeah instead of you know piecing this like you would normally kind of do as a quilter right this is actually woven so long strips of fabric kind of like you, you prepare them like bias tape from what I understand and then you weave them so you don't have any raw edges but looks like it's super super cool and I'm not sure if they would classify this as like a beginner friendly or intermediate or what but it looks like the pattern is relatively easy to follow it doesn't look too complicated I think what probably takes the most time is just preparing your strips of fabric so yeah cool this looks really cool I'm super excited to try that okay now let's get to this box over here that I set aside that looks like the goodie box and see what's in here There we go. Wow, it's like a complicated box, guys. And it's wrapped really well. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, so it looks like we have five fat quarters of art gallery fabric denim. And if you haven't tried denim before, which I actually haven't worked with denim before, but I've seen a lot of stuff on Mr. Domestic's um, Instagram and channel working with this. And so actually I think it looks like it's gonna be kind of a fun project to do. And I think you could definitely use it for this pattern that he provided. But there's kind of this lighter denim color, light blue color. Then there's kind of a more darker, this looks more like actual jean material to me. Um, there is a tan one. Hopefully my lights are kind of picking it up okay. This one is a green. It's like a kind of a sage green a little bit. And then another blue. And the blues are all three different. Let me try and kind of hold them up here so you can see them together. But they are three different colors of blue and then you've got the green and the tan together all right so there you go and these are interesting they're a really light denim these aren't super heavy so I don't think you would have to worry about your sewing machine having problems with them or anything they're quite um, soft and scrunchy it's not like super thick denim material but that would probably be a great use for this pattern right here and these guys right here and I'm not sure, but I'm assuming you could use the denim on the fabric, um, the paper piecing as well. So um, anyways, if you did get this box, don't forget to go to Mr. Domestic's website or the Pat Bravo Designs website to get your um, free block um, patterns. And yeah, let's take a look at everything all together. So here is the entire contents of the August Quilters Candy Box for you, curated by Matthew, um, AKA Mr. Domestic. Um, he's actually one of my favorite people to follow on Instagram because he always has really cool projects. So if you haven't been following him, make sure to go check that out. Um, this is probably not one of my favorite boxes, mainly because I don't do a whole lot of English paper piecing, although I have always wanted to give it a try. And one great thing about paper piecing is that it's extremely portable. So the pieces, as you can see, are kind of tiny. You really just need this some glue um, some cut up fabric pieces or even it's great um, scrap buster and you can just throw it in a bag take it in your car take it on a road trip uh, take it to the pool while your kids are playing and just kind of sit there and you can kind of hand sew so it's a great project to be able to take mobile I just haven't done a lot of it I am super excited to try um, this wefty needle I have actually been looking at these before I just have never purchased one because he has some really cool um, patterns that show up with this kind of fabric weaving you can do some really cool stuff with it and I think that would be really fun I have always wanted to try and kind of do like a weave and then turn that into maybe um, you know like a tote bag or something like that as well um, as like a whole quilt so I'm really excited to try that out uh, but otherwise since I don't do a whole lot of paper piecing it's not probably one of my favorite boxes but it still has some cool materials and I'm sure some of you are really into this and you'll really love this box um, so that is the entire contents for August 2017 Quilters Candy Box. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm going to go eat this cookie before my kids even see that it's here because otherwise it will be gone. And um, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.